Another day has dawned for wildlife officials with bad news. It has been reported that a baby elephant is roaming around the village ill. Officials rushed to the village to save the baby elephant's life. Officers immediately begin treatment. It does not seem to be as easy as it sounds. The naughty baby elephant does not allow the officers to come near him. But officials are not ready to give up the fight. They even risk their lives to save the baby elephant. The first step is to prepare the anesthetic drugs needed to start the sedation process. A well-trained officer is vaccinating the elephant using a tranquilizer gun without harm. But the baby elephant comes to attack the wildlife officials thinking they are trying to harass him. Officers run to save his life, but the elephant is given sedation again. At that moment, the baby elephant attacks the officers again, and finally the officer's attempt pays off. Officers examine the elephant to determine if it is properly sedated. It then recognizes the damage done to it. It has a large wound in its mouth. This is a very common danger to elephants roaming around the villages. The accident, known as a jaw exploder, was caused by an elephant inadvertently eating food containing ammunition. Although the villagers often use this tactic to save their crops from roaming elephants at night, it is a very inhumane act. This causes the elephant's jaw to become severely injured, and some elephants die due to inability to eat. It is with great kindness that some villagers seek out and rehabilitate these elephants when they are in miserable condition. The officials, realizing that the elephant's wound was very severe, tied the elephant's legs for ease of treatment. Normally, officials stand at the backside of the elephant when treating the elephant. But in this case, it is necessary to go to the front to treat the wound in the mouth. After tying all four legs to the surrounding trees, the officers put their hands into its mouth and begin cleaning the wound. There, the wound is first disinfected, and then the necessary medicine is applied. Meanwhile, other officials are also administering injections to the baby elephant. These include antibiotics, painkillers, and multivitamins. Its purpose is to boost its immunity and to heal mouth sores faster. Eventually, the revival drug was injected intravenously into the blood in the baby elephant's ear. Once the elephant is lying on the ground, an officer helps it to lay down and get up. At the end of treatment, the officers feed the animal. They are supposed to translocate the baby elephant to a safer reserved forest. Where they can continuously monitor and give immediate treatment and saline to the elephant whenever he needs it. A huge truck that is custom made to transport the elephants has been brought for this purpose. Arrangements have been made inside the truck to ensure the comfort of the baby elephant.
A chamber of iron pipes is built around the elephant to allow it to safely travel inside the lorry. With the help of the villagers, a pit is dug to lower the lorry enough for the baby elephant to climb into it. The lorry is lowered into the ground, and the lorry is brought to the flat ground level where the elephant is and the baby elephant is systematically loaded into the lorry without harming it. Eventually, the officers made it into a sturdy cage using iron pipes in front to protect the baby elephant. This allows the baby elephant to stay safely on the lorry deck until it reaches the desired transport location. The baby elephant seems to be trying to drag attention and love from the officers. Eventually, the iron tube is released from the baby elephant's trunk, rested on the other side, and a safety chamber is set up to begin transportation. The baby elephant, which is brought to the forest at night, can be released into the wild. There, the damage to the elephant's mouth is re-examined. Eventually, officials wait until the baby elephant leaves the ring outside the electro fence and heads for the jungle. An officer appears to encourage the elephant to send it to the forest quickly. The elephant then runs towards the forest. This marks the end of a tumultuous day for wildlife officials.